For hundreds of thousands of years, rain from storms or melting snow has run off land and deposited loose sand and dirt into rivers. Since all water ends up at the ocean, much of that sand and dirt has ended up in the ocean too, where it has created a layer of sand and mud. Sometimes small rocks or broken shells are mixed in. If the water is clear and not too deep, plants can grow right in the water. This is a good place for organisms to shelter, look for food, and raise their young. Soft bottom habitats can be in shallow water where this stingray is skimming along. Or in the very deepest places using underwater robots, scientists have found tripod fish that stand on fins and wait for prey. Rat tails swim along the bottom like overgrown tadpoles. All the organisms that live in this habitat spend most of their time near the bottom or even burrowed into the soft bottom. Clams, worms, and tube anemones are some of the organisms that dig into the bottom. Blue crabs, horseshoe crabs, whelks, Squid, lobsters, and bay scallops are some other organisms that swim, walk, or scurry around and spend their lives on or very near the bottom. This triggerfish is making a nest in the muddy sand. Flatfish flounder, sole, or halibut, skates, and rays swim around. But when waiting for prey, they camouflage themselves by looking just like the bottom. Can you see the flounder that is hiding? The ocean along the eastern part of the United States has large areas of soft bottom habitat because there is a large, fairly flat shelf just off the coast. People's activities on land can harm this ocean habitat. Polluted water from land goes to the ocean and affects all its living things. Some commercial fishermen drag large, heavy nets along the soft bottom, and that also harms the habitat. The nets scoop up everything, not just the shrimp or fish they're seeking. And this disrupts the lives and homes of many soft bottom organisms. <laughs>